Hi Kevin, it's Wednesday. First I want to say I really enjoyed that song and I really want to read the book now. Today, continuing with our theme of perspective, I want to talk about a perspective that's a little outside of our realm. I want to talk about killer whales. Not because of the word killer, because they are apex predators, but because of the word whale. Being part of the family Delphinidae, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, orcas are actually in fact just big dolphins. Still, of course, related to whales, but not as closely. A few interesting facts about orcas, they are the last of their genus, so the genus Orcanus only really applies to orcas, although it is possible that we will soon see orcas split into three separate species. There's a lot of S's. Orcas are extremely intelligent, skilled hunters, and are not a threat to humans. In the wild. A 2013 documentary, Blackfish, focused on the controversy of keeping orcas in captivity. And while SeaWorld asserts that Blackfish is a flawed film, the, f the fact remains that a lot of people are dead because of orcas being kept in captivity. Some trainers interviewed for the movie have come forward saying that they felt that they were misrepresented in the movie, and that they thought they were signing on for a more balanced, two-sided documentary, but they felt that Blackfish had a very clear agenda. And while it's clear that Blackfish did have an agenda, it's also clear that SeaWorld has a much larger financial agenda. They created a part of their website called The Truth About Blackfish in which they dispute a lot of claims made in the movie. The page contains links to several videos of trainers talking about their disagreements with the movie. But the last video on the page is, in my opinion, a little disturbing. The video shows a toddler connecting with Tilly Coom. Tilly Coom being an orca who is the focus of the movie Blackfish and who has been responsible for three deaths to date. I personally find it a little disturbing that they are still using him for shows. Now I understand you can't just release an orca into the wild, it doesn't work that way, but at least don't take him out and show him to people, I mean, I don't, I don't even know where to begin. Personally, I think that it is very wrong to be keeping these orcas in captivity like that, and I understand you can't just release them into the wild, but that doesn't mean you have to keep adding to their numbers. I would also like to note that the director of Blackfish challenged SeaWorld to an open debate in a public forum that they would be glad to arrange, and SeaWorld did not reply. I think it says something about your position on something if you're not willing to come out into the public and into an open domain to argue it and to defend it. I mean, ugh, people drive me crazy. I definitely recommend the movie Blackfish to anyone who hasn't seen it, but I also recommend that you do look at the world side of the argument, because though I don't agree with it, I think it's important to see both sides of an argument. As always, thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and message us if you'd like. Good day, YouTube. Good day. Also, tomorrow through Friday, I will be at orientation for Bradley, so Thursday's video will be filmed in a dorm. Talk about new perspectives. <laughs>